Hi, and welcome to another Your Research Business Daily Report. Axiom, Epsilon, Experian, and Equifax are leaders in the largely unregulated data industry. They are entirely free to amass and refine personal data and then sell it to third parties. But nine such businesses received letters of inquiry from the Congress last week. GOP and Democratic members of the Privacy Caucus are probing how and what these companies are doing with the data they collect about people's financial, retail, and recreational behavior. The New York Times explained the seriousness of this inquiry. It began with an FTC 2010 data compiler investigation that actually led to charges and a settlement against Spokio for selling consumers' personal data that ended up being used against employment screening. An earlier New York Times article about Axiom actually has led to these letters of inquiry. They ask for a list of the broker's data sources, specific types of information they are collecting, descriptions of their data collection methods, and more. Moving on, Roman Villiava, vice CEO at Promoto SEM Company, shared an analysis of the audience at Twitter. I found particularly interesting the psychological characteristics of Twitter users. 20% are informers, that is, they disseminate information and respond to the posts of others. But 80% mainly post about themselves, thus they are designated as me-formers. And here's an interesting posting tip. If you want to maximize your Twitter audiences and clicks, post in the early afternoon early in the week. And don't even waste your time on Friday after 3 o'clock, much less on the weekend. Moving on, writing for his new research agency, Harpeth Marketing, Steve Henke authored a list of do's and don'ts for research booths during the upcoming conference season. Part 1, posted on LinkedIn and published in Quirks Magazine, offers exhibit booth basics. But nonetheless, these recommendations probably do add up. No chairs. No eating, drinking, or chewing gum. No rookies at the booth. No tables. No giveaways. And make sure you have a plan and a quantifiable goal or goals for your booth. Finally, it is pure satire. But if you want to laugh, take a look at Salon.com's posting called Bush Clothing Line Fails to Find Market. If you need a five-minute break, give it a whirl. Research is a very core element of this very funny spoof. Enjoy. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We hope you have an outstanding research day and that you'll join us again tomorrow. And please tell your friends about our service.